Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun, simple, festive project to share with you using some of the new products that just came out in the October release. Starting with the Cool Christmas Trees Dynamics die set. This is a really fun one for the geometric lovers out there. And uh, they have all these different types of triangles and trees that you can put together, uh, different variations. I'm just kind of winging it here. I'm going to take three, uh, a larger, a medium, and a tiny little triangle and do like build some rainbow Christmas trees. So I went rummaging through my solid color cardstock bin and I found three, approximately three shades for each color family. So for the largest triangle, I did the darkest shade of red. Then for the medium size of triangle, I did a medium shade of red, like a true red. And then for that tiny little triangle, which is a separate little die, I did kind of a light peachy coral. I don't even know what brands all of these are. It's all mixed and matched in my solid color cardstock bin. Okay, so a lot of die cutting, a lot of colors. This is my favorite thing to do, you know. Bring in as much color as I can. Stack up geometric shapes. It's simple. It's clean. It just evokes joy, if you ask me. And um, I just really love it. Is it monotonous? Some might say. But a repetition is my friend. Okay, so there we have our final little one with the purple. Okay, so I'm going to start adhering these. I'm just going to use uh, some Barely Arts liquid glue. You just need a little dot up in the corner. Now here's the trick. I used my grid mat to kind of center the triangle. So I knew that the point would always be on that line. And that helped me just to keep my triangle straight. If you wanted to make these dimensional, you could use little slivers of foam tape and pop up each triangle. I kept it flat because I knew I would end up popping it up on my card base. So the triangle itself is just glued with liquid glue. And that little grid mat came in really handy. It helped me to make all of my triangles consistent, same height, same, you know, Whatever. You, you get where I'm going? Okay, because that's what we need during the holidays. We need to keep it simple. We need to keep it consistent. Okay? This might not be one you're going to want to mass produce, but it is one that's going to make you smile. Okay, so I got these all together. Now, there are some, there's actually several different ones, uh, like stems or trunks for the trees. It's optional. You don't have to add a trunk. But I thought, hey... Why not add a trunk? Again, I'm using that grid mat to make sure that my trunk is centered in the tree and also that I get the trunk at the same height as all of them, you know, like consistent height. That's where the grid mat came in handy. Uh, again, a little drop of that Barely Arts glue and bada boom, these come together. What you gotta do is you gotta get your Spotify. Do you have Spotify? I love Spotify and I just put on some of my favorite tunes. Lately, I'm going through a John Mellencamp phase. I like a little John Mellencamp. I like a little, um, oh, I like it all. You know, I really do. I really do. Okay, so I'm popping up a panel of white cardstock onto a cream card base. My favorite neutral on neutral. And uh, it really pairs beautifully with these bright, colorful trees. You know I'm going to do them in rainbow order. So I'm just getting the lay of the land here. I do have little slivers of foam tape behind them, so they're ready to go. Um, you don't have to pop them up, but you know what I say. Dimension is life. And you just got to slip it in where you can. Okay, so these come together easy. Now, thoughts on the sentiment. I was thinking it's a great opportunity to put one right smack dab in the middle. Sounds like a great place to go. So we have the new, oh, uh, what's this called? Cool Christmas Greetings stamp set. And any one of those sentiments would work beautifully right in the center. I just chose Wishing You Joy. Kind of like that one. I'm going to emboss it in white onto some black cardstock. So I rubbed it down with the Magic Powder Bag. I'm inking it up with Versamark ink. Um, you know, I used to stamp it twice. You know, I say stamp it twice to make it nice. But, you know, I've started stamping it three times. Could be a little excessive. Maybe a little superstitious. I don't know. But I feel like the more I stamp it, the crazier I get. 
Don't ask. I don't know. I feel like when I stamp it multiple times, I get a real good emboss. You know what I mean? Nothing worse than a, a, like an emboss that's like sparse. That just chaps my khaki. So I'm trimming this out into a little, a thin little perfect festive sentiment strip. And I'm going to pop this up smack dab right in the middle. Now here's the question. Do you add embellishments? You could. You could add little stars on the top, little droppy doos all around, little sequins. But I kept it just the way it is because, you know, in the great words of Billy Joel, I love you just the way you are. I do. And I'm wishing you joy today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.